Shout out to the Pop Art Photo Show. Thanks for having me. This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show today. Limited Runs is proud to announce the inaugural interactive art exhibition experience, Pop Art Photo Show, taking place September 27th to the 30th, 2018 at the Barker Hangar in Santa Monica, California. And we're here with Lincoln Parks. Mike Shinoda, Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. How are you? Good. Pop art photo show. I was invited to be part of the show, which at face value didn't make sense to me because I don't take pictures of popular subjects. I just draw. But I'm part of the show. And it was a really fun thing. I have three paintings up that were all part of my new album. They were the, the paintings I did to, for the album packaging. And then I did a whole wall, a live paint just now, and the fans are currently, as we speak, the fans are, are filling it in, coloring it. The funny thing is, is your new album is called Post Traumatic. So the first single and the video called Make It Up As I Go relates to the art you're doing tonight right. because you are making it up as you go. It was a, it's kind of like a um, stream of consciousness kind of doodling, yeah. yeah. Do you have any hopes or dreams of how it's going to end up when all these random people start coloring in your work? No, it's, I mean, that's part of the beauty of it, right? Is to just kind of, um, you have to let go of the piece and now it's not, now it's our piece together. It's, there's about like 50 people over there, maybe more, uh, filling in the colors. But it actually, it relates all the way back to um, not only when I was making the record, how, how art, uh, not only the, the music, but also the, 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 the physical art was a big part of my creative process and my my cathartic kind of process with the album but also when we released the album I released a uh, a limited edition version which was which included on the first half the art from the album and the second half was black and white artwork that I encouraged fans to fill in or use however they wanted to use it as far as post-traumatic the album was inspired by the traumatic experience experience of losing Chester Bennington to alleged suicide now now do you, you don't believe that sinister hands were involved in his death? No. No. Not well, there were, no. I mean, there was a, there was a uh, you know, police report done and everything, so no. And, and did you see any signs of depression or anything like that before he took his life? Um, well, I mean, he battled with that stuff very publicly. Since the, since the beginning of our relationship, since we knew him. I mean, it was just something he dealt with for his whole life. And, you know, it, I, I t I've always told people that it's part of his, the way he, um, he coped with those things and the way we together brought those subjects into the songs, that's really the thing people fell in love with. I mean, it was the reason, you know, um, many of the songs, whether he wrote it about himself or I wrote it about him um, and and eventually he would sing those lyrics um, it was it really was rooted in all of that really you know um, deep substance that that was kind of part of who he's been he's for as long as I've known him when yeah. you realized when you guys realized that he was dealing with this depression did you guys band together to be a support for him well like I said it wasn't like a realization it was like just always there it was always something he coped with back and forth some days were good some days not so good and and over time yeah like it it, it did get um, you know I, I guess it, with with things like that what I always tell people is mental health is like your physical health like if you ha if you're having a day where you wake up and go my my body hurts my back hurts then what you'll do is you'll take take it easy that day if it's worse you might talk to a doctor if it's worse you might take medication um, and, and and what we need to start doing is thinking of mental health that way you to check in with yourself and say oh I woke up this morning my body feels fine but I feel wrong like my brain feels um, my, my mental health is not very good today um, so do I need to take it easy today do I need to call a doctor today do I need to take medication today those are all things that that you know over time I think we'll get in the habit of doing Lincoln Park has plans to carry on with a new singer correct uh, no we don't have any plans at this point 
and there's and not at all. You guys don't think that Lincoln Park would be a viable. I mean, obviously, if there's any news for the band, we'll announce it on our socials, of course. The blaring out show.